I'm so excited to tell you all about this incredible new MacBook. It is the most extreme and efficient notebook we have ever created. And it took reinventing every technology in it to deliver something this amazing. And it absolutely looks gorgeous from every angle. The new MacBook weighs just two pounds. Yes. This is the lightest Mac we have ever made. And even at its thickest point, it's just 13.1 millimeters thin. That's the thinnest Mac we have ever made as well. In fact, the previous thinnest Mac, here it is, the 11-inch MacBook Air, as you can see, the new MacBook is 24% thinner. That is a huge difference. And as you look around at every angle, you see, well, this is an all-metal enclosure. The team has integrated the antennas right into the enclosure. It's the first time we've been able to do it that way. And when you open it up, you're struck by one of its most dominant features, that keyboard. It has a full-size keyboard. It goes all the way to the edge. That actually defines the size of the notebook, that keyboard. And it's not just any keyboard. It is an all-new keyboard. As you move to a thinner design, it took an entirely new kind of invention to make it a beautiful keyboard. So the team studied how current keyboard technology works. Here's a slow motion video of a customer typing on a standard keyboard. And as you see, as the keys get pressed, they're a bit wobbly. In fact, if you press them on the side, they start to bottom out. That's because they're based on a mechanism called a scissor mechanism. And there was a time when that was great. But now there's something new. Our team invented a butterfly mechanism. This butterfly mechanism is built of a single assembly. And it's supported by a stainless steel dome switch. And that all adds up to a key that is much more precise and accurate. In fact, it's four times more stable than that scissor mechanism. Yet it is 40% thinner, allowing us to make a thinner keyboard. And we also made the keycap larger, making it even easier to strike and get a beautiful typing experience. So this is a slow motion video of typing on the new keyboard on the new MacBook. The keys are much more precise, much more accurate, even if you strike them on the side. It is a beautiful keyboard, even in the dark. <laughs> we have now created a new lighting system for the backlight with an individual LED for each key. This allows it to be thinner and more precise in its illumination. So that's the first new feature on the new MacBook, an all-new full-size keyboard. Well, the perfect size display to match to that full-size keyboard is a 12-inch display with full edge-to-edge -edge cover glass. And to be beautiful, of course, it's a retina display. A retina display with 2304 by 1440 pixels. If you do the math, that's just over 3.3 million pixels. It is a beautiful display. The panel is just 0.88 millimeters thin. This is the thinnest display we've ever built into a Mac. And those pixels have a larger aperture for light. What's that about? Well, an individual pixel is made up of red, green, and blue subpixels. The team has been able to miniaturize electronics and move them out of the way so more light comes through each pixel. So at the same level of brightness, it actually consumes 30% less energy. Such so our thinnest display, our most energy efficient display. It truly is the best display we've ever built onto a Mac. <laughs> Next up, the trackpad. This is an incredible feat of engineering. A traditional trackpad is hinged at the top. And as you click on it, it moves like a diving board. So the top end is stiffer and the bottom end is softer. Well, not with this trackpad. We call it the Force Touch Trackpad. It has a glass multi-touch surface, but built underneath it are four force sensors. And for the first time in a trackpad, our Taptic Engine that you've heard about with Watch is built into here as well to provide feedback of your clicking. This is an incredibly thin, capable trackpad. 
and for the first time, you can cook anywhere and get the exact same feel over the entire surface. It's not hinged like a diving board. And that feel, because it's managed in software, you can adjust it if you want to have a stiffer or softer feel to your trackpad. But what it can do is so much more than that. Those four sensors sense a range of pressure from your lightest click to a deeper press. And we've created a new gesture for those deeper presses. We call them a force click. So how does that work? Well, in OS X, when you force click, for example, on a word in a browser, you automatically get a Wikipedia lookup of that. If you're an email and you see an address, you force click on it, and you automatically get a map that pops up with a location. Maybe someone has invited you and sent you a date and time. You force click on that, and it automatically creates a calendar entry. You can even force click on a file in the finder and automatically get a preview of the contents of that file without even opening the application. And this is a range of pressure that this, the sensors can sense. So in drawing applications or signing your signature, you get a much more accurate illustration based on that pressure. If you're watching a movie in QuickTime or a video, you can press deeper on fast forward, and the deeper you press, the faster it goes. I got that in just two takes. So this is the, more, the, new, the new trackpad and the new MacBook. It's engineered like no trackpad ever has before. So let's take a look inside, because what's on the inside is just as innovative as these features we're looking at on the outside. This is our latest unibody architecture. Unibody architecture creates the structure out of the enclosure, and you can mount devices and components directly to that structure, like that great trackpad. Let's put the logic board inside it. This is the logic board of the 11-inch MacBook Air. Obviously, it was quite an engineering feat to that fit inside the new MacBook. Well, our engineering team took on two really huge challenges with this. The first, the device with the circular shape on the right, well, that's a fan with vent support. Well, the team designed this new MacBook with removing all fans and vents to make it the first fanless MacBook ever. Yes. So it operates silently. So here's that logic board now without the fan. What our engineering team did is remarkable. That's the new logic board inside the MacBook. They've miniaturized it. It is the densest logic board ever in a Mac. It is 67% smaller. That is one-third the size of the previous smallest logic board. This is insane. 